Hi Scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading. Uh, your readings will be now on Monday evenings, okay? We'll have a, um, Monday we'll have a session together, but uh, last night uh, your video did not want to upload and then I lost it in, I don't know, that's what has been happening to me because of this Mercury retrograde. This is a strong one and that I'm sure everybody's been having many, many problems with this uh, Mercury retrograde. This has been ha happening to me, it's about over a month now. <laughs> so uh, I had to redo your video, but this video is, gonna, I'm gonna date it for today, the 16th, but it, has, it, would, it would have to been yesterday, which was the Monday. So now uh, every Monday, I will have a video out for you until I change the schedule again eventually. So um, I'm happy that you're all here. Welcome to the platform, my beautiful Scorpions. And um, I want to just let you know that I'm very grateful uh, and uh, appreciative of uh, all the love and support that you've been giving me. Also for all the comments, because I read each and one of them. And for the new subscribers that are here, welcome to my platform. Um, and uh, I also wanna thank for all of you, for those beautiful donations that you have been giving me, uh, Scorpios, and those of you that are cross watching as well. Thank you so much, I very much appreciate it. And on the front page of my YouTube channel, on the top right hand side, there is an icon for donations, Facebook or Instagram if you wanna follow me. And also, um, if you don't see it there, you go to the about section on my YouTube page you'll have a bit of information about me and everything else is at the bottom of the page. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will see more videos when they, they upload, okay? And also I wanna tell you that my readings are timeless, meaning whenever you watch this is the right time for you and if someone comes down down the line in a month from, them, from now, it will be the right time for them as well. And um, if I see any further predictions, I will let you know, okay? So, uh, okay. Now, uh, what I have in front of me is a singing bowl. The singing bowl is used to clear my energy, my space, to clear your energy and your space as well. And uh, I also, at the same time, when I'm ringing the bowl, I also could clear the chakras, align your chakras, and clean your aura. And if there's anything that you're carrying heavy around on you, I will be able to let uh, I will be able to let that go from you or remove that from you. This is what I meant to say. And uh, what did I want to say? So when I ring the bowl, all I want you to do, Scorpio, is take a deep breath in and then release, okay? And do that uh, when you're releasing, do it through your solar plexus, okay? Do it through your solar plexus and make it go down to Mother Gaia. And I want you to be relaxed when we are in our session together. I don't want you to be like, uh, you could be watching while you're, you know, I guess uh, doing many other things, but I would really want you to be uh, relaxed when you watch the video, okay? So let's get started. Perfect. 
I noticed that I had to redo it twice because your chakras were uh, a bit stagnant. And uh, so I had to redo it twice. I am a healer, so I did send healing energy to you as well. Uh, my hand was like going nuts. Okay, now I have your also oracle cards that I want you to choose from. And at the end of the reading, we're going to look at them together. These oracle cards, all you need to do is ask uh, any questions you want from now till the end of the reading. Sometimes oracle cards come in and they help to answer a specific question that maybe I will not be able, maybe who knows, I won't say it in the reading, but it will come out through the cards. Okay, so your first deck here for you is Romance Angels. Romance Angels. First deck, number one, Rose Quartz. Deck number two, Archangel Michael. Deck number two, Archangel Michael, Selenite. And deck number three, Ask Angels. Ask Angels, you got the orange Selenite. So how you choose this, you could choose by crystal or by card, or you just let your intuitive side reach out to you. I also took out a challenge card for you for this month. So this is from... July 16th to the 24th and number 15th which uh, would have been your date yesterday would have been cool but anyways uh, the 15th okay uh, appreciation so some of you have to stop what you're doing uh, some of you Scorpios and you have to uh, have this gratefulness for life okay and now look at the things like some of you I feel are looking at the things that um, went wrong probably and you're not looking at the blessings in your life you're not appreciating your every uh, your moment every day. Now, this is not for all of you, but for some of you, this is the challenge this week for you to see, uh, to be to be appreciative and grateful. Okay, of the people you have around you, maybe of nature, just stopping by somewhere. You know, st uh, stop and smell the coffee. Usually they say, or stop and smell the roses. Okay, uh, take that time for yourself. To really appreciate uh, your every step of the way of life, like just in like being in the moment. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge for you this week. I also took out one uh, crystal card that you will be needing, and it's Aqua Aura, Aqua Aura, and this is healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions, and clear assertive communication help you understand. And to be understood. So, for those of you that want a uh, uh, don't want to purchase this, there's a um, there's a lady on Facebook. Her name is Crystal Lopez Leslie. There's also uh, another person that I trust is Whitecap.com. I think it's Whitecap.com. Uh, I have uh, she's a sister of mine as well. And there's Earth uh, Earth. Uh, earth crisp sorry earth crystals.com as well so for those of you you know that want a uh, one of these okay and uh, I took out a life purpose card for you and it says talk to your angels talk to your angels instead of worrying ask for divine guidance I also took out Archangel Raphael for you okay and it says yes someone asked a question here Yes. And it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust my feelings as the accurate barometer of truth. I also took out a card for you uh, because we're in the eclipse. So happy eclipse, everybody. I hope you're feeling good. Uh, this is number 17. And this is your card. Look how beautiful this card is. And your affirmation, if you want to follow, uh, if you want to repeat after me, is I live each moment with a presence of gratitude. Again, I live each moment with a presence of gratitude. And so it is. I also took work your light. Work your light. Maybe this card will mean something to someone if you look at it. And it says here, trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is the feeling in your solar plexus? That's the niggle effect. What is it trying to tell you? And that's only a question that you can answer. Okay? So now, uh, let's get started with your reading. Uh, well, I was picking up in uh, your energy as well um, that there is, some, there is a new, a true love that's here for you, Scorpios, for some of you. 
I feel that there's also a past love for, for others of you as well, where you went through already many uh, situations. Maybe you were dealing with someone that was very controlling, Scorpio. Uh, someone that is trying to still to control you. I don't feel like you're with that person. You're, I don't feel like you're with this person, but I do feel that this person uh, is still in your life, especially if you don't have children and you're divorced or there's someone that is still trying to control you. But there is some kind of past love that you're having a hard time releasing. For others of you, I feel there's a true love that's here for you, but you're not seeing that person as a true love. Some of you are scared to, um, because you don't want to be controlled again or be, some kind of controlling, some kind of, someone is trying to, like they're treating you like a puppet. I see that you have a lot of good friendships around you. That's great. I do I do see that. There's a lot of good friendships around you. I see a lady with dark hair. She's more of a um a mature woman, very mature woman, very uh smart woman uh that's here. And I think that if you are the one that I'm talking to that is a Scorpio here, if you are seeing someone that is a bit younger than you. I feel that for this person that you're dealing with, if this person is younger, I, I like I'm saying like, like really, like, like I would say, let's say let's say you're in your early fifties and the person is thirty five or something. I, what I feel very strongly here is this person is your true love. But for some of you, this past love, this ex, whoever this is, a past love, is uh, I feel is still controlling your emotions. So let's see what the message is here. Now, uh, yeah, but your friendships are pretty solid is what I'm picking up. You do have good friendships around you. They're very solid. At least I would count four to five people that you could count on, you know. And um, let me know if this resonates. And if it doesn't, well, always look at your rising moon or Venus or wherever that uh, you have uh, Scorpio in. If you have Scorpio in Mars or in Pluto or in Saturn, look at the planets that are retrograde. Because right now, there's a lot of planets that are retrograde. So maybe look at those and see where it affects you in your chart, okay? <clears throat> so let's look. Oh, already one card went flying on the floor. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Again, so I did get the five of pentacles. Some of you feel left out of the situation. Okay, uh, these cards, I don't remember if these are the unknown cards or something for some of you were asking me. So a lot of you feeling left out of a situation. Um, some of you are feeling um, that you don't have enough money. I feel that there is help around you, but you're not asking for the help that is needed. Some of you could be dealing with a... Uh, you know, a Virgo, a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. That's not the case. Let me just put... If that's not the case, maybe you're dealing with... Uh, you're dealing with someone that is a fire energy. Maybe a, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Let me just put this here like this. So, there's something that you're not seeing. You don't see... Now, if you're dealing with someone that left you out, hold on, I'm just trying to get all the messages across here because they're coming at me with so many messages. Let me move these cards. Okay, let me just, I need more space here. <laughs> okay. I feel that your heart got broken in the past. I'm not feeling for whoever this is that the ex or someone that's controlling out some kind of past love. <clears throat> this happened in the past, okay? But it's showing up again in your energy still. Now I don't know who this is for. This is someone that you had a broken heart, but you I feel that you healed and mended your broken broken heart, okay? Uh, someone that uh, maybe there was a third party situation. It doesn't have to be, but. Uh, there's something that here that happened that I feel that someone was trying to get away with something, not telling the truth. There was a break with this person. Okay, there was. But I feel because Neptune went retrograde and Mercury went retrograde, could be that this person came back 
you know? And I feel that this person is trying to control you. They're trying, like, as if you're a puppet to them, okay? They know that they could they could do certain things to you, okay? Um, you're, you're very independent. You're very independent. You take care of yourself, Scorpio. Scorpio. You take care, you, you make good money, okay? And you take care of yourself. You're in touch with yourself. This is in the recent past. You're going through through you're going through ma uh, major changes right now, and some of you are fearing these major changes that are coming through. I feel a lot of you are going through the uh, the dark night of the soul. Okay, um, you're awakening, so you're going through a lot here. I see. There's someone that stopped talking to you, or you stopped talking to someone, or someone's not talking to someone here at this moment. Now I don't know who it is that uh, blocked you, or they. You blocked them or they blocked you. I don't know uh, what's the... But there is some kind of blocking here, I see. Or something not that isn't spoken or hasn't spoken yet. Okay. A lot of you are feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck in a situation. You're really feeling stuck. Maybe some for some of you this is financial. Uh, something that was supposed to be long-term is blocking you. There's a blockage that's taking place. A lot of crying taking place. As above, so below. Some of you uh, have um, made peace with the past. Some of you made peace with the past. Not all of you. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take out... Uh, I'm going to take out extra cards to see what else is going on here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? So you're dealing with a fire energy. They're showing me very clear. Okay. So what's happening is that if you're feeling in this way, if you're feeling stuck, uh, um, for some of you, you feel stuck financially. Some of you are, um, you feel left out of a situation. You feel like uh, you don't have enough. Um, for others of you, I feel like for you mended that broken heart. But it's still showing up in your energy, okay? So this is something that you still need to work on. There's something that you still need to work on here. Uh, this could be with children. For some of you, If is is a, maybe a daughter that you're not talking to. Someone that I feel here is someone that's not speaking. You're not talking. I don't know who this person is. If this is you or, the, or whoever you're dealing with. If this is not with a... A daughter, okay, or a child. This is someone that you're dealing with that is not... There's someone There's someone that's not talking here. Someone cut off somebody. But what's coming for you is you got the Ace of Wands. Okay, so, so this is a, could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Passion, love, creativity. You're going to feel like an awake... It's like you're going to... Because I feel a lot of you are going through right now that you don't probably don't understand this. Not all of you. But I'm sure some of you understand. Some of you don't. And that's why you come on my channel. Is that a lot of you are going through this dark night of the soul where you're feeling like all... Like you're feeling like this. Not seeing things clear. Because it's all in your mind. You're feeling stuck, but you're not really stuck. It's just that you keep replaying the same thing over and over again. Maybe you're dealing with someone... That uh, someone that is narcissistic also it could be not you know it could happen, uh, but the Ace of Wands is coming in to show you that the, the angels are coming in to bring you this passion, this creativity, this inspiration. Some of you are going to go through a Kundalini awakening, and judgment is coming. Some would think is coming to you that's faded. That's faded. I'm going to ask what this is. What is this judgment card? It's faded, but of course it's free will, right? I feel that um, this. For some of you, there's a true love around you, and uh, you're not seeing them for who they are because you're stuck in the past. You you haven't released an ex or someone from your past, someone that pretty much hurt you a lot because it's still showing up in your energy. Why is the judgment card here with the Ace of Wands? Why is the Ace of Wands here with judgment for Scorpio? Okay. So you were dealing with a Capricorn. 
There was a, a in the past again. You see why? Because cause they keep showing me that in the past you had an emotional, um, emotional breakdown for some of you. Um, a lot of crying here, but this was past tense. And what I feel here is that uh, what can I say now? The South Node in Capricorn is releasing anyone, anything and feelings and situations that are not for highest good. Karma's coming into clean house. And I feel that for some of you, this has to be with, for some of you that this is exactly what is happening, okay? That um, you're getting released from that. That's why they're bringing the Ace of Wands with judgment because something is coming to you faded in long term, okay? And uh, it's gonna bring you, again, you're gonna feel alive inside. Or some of you are were dealing with someone that was like a Capricorn. But I really believe that that's, this is Saturn, okay? I see a younger person here. Why is the three of wands here? Some of you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this is happening now as we speak. Someone that's very generous, kind, loving, okay? And I see that they're coming in with an offer, but... There's an offer coming in for you. I feel so for some of you, you're going to have to choose between two people as well. These are, you've been wanting this, to, you've been wanting this dream to come true. Okay, you've been wanting this dream to come true. This could be, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be you uh, feeling better as well. You've been dreaming. You've been manif trying to manifest. What's the, what's the overall energy here? What, what's going on here? The tower. Now, the tower is a good thing because when the tower comes in, it cleans house. I believe, honestly, for some people here, uh, for, for those of you Scorpios or those of you cross watching, okay, the tower is coming in, the divine is coming in, okay, to shed what's not good for you anymore, for your highest good, meaning people's situations, even our own patterns, your own patterns. If you're feeling stuck in a situation and you don't know how to get out of it and you've been crying about it and you know, you you've been doing the work, but at times you feel like you're you're giving up, right? And it's it's hard to when you're going through something hard like this to appreciate what you're going through. I understand that, okay? But I really believe that uh, Saturn in Capricorn and the South Node in Capricorn, the tower that's going to come in is going to help you. It's going to really help you. So I'm going to ask another question here. Why is the tower card here? What is this about? Okay, hold on. I feel that you're going to feel better. There's, uh, I feel that your emotions are going to get better after this uh, this situation that takes place. Because we are in the eclipse season, right? So when the eclipses happen, there's a lot of things that happen. You're going to feel better. You're gonna, I feel some of you are psychics here. And I feel that you uh, you talk to a lot of fairies. Okay, I pick, I'm picking that up. I'm also picking up here a um, a fire energy, like a Sagittarius Leo or Aries, very strong. But I feel that you're not like, maybe like you're a Scorpio, like you are a Scorpio, sorry. You are a Scorpio and you have a rising sign or a moon sign in a fire sign. But I feel that you're within yourself, you are going back and forth in something, okay? Because what I feel here is it's an ending of a difficult situation and the delays and new beginnings are going to take place right after this tower takes place here. Okay, so let's see why the Eight of Swords is here. They're asking you not to give up. I feel for some of you this has to do with a business. If it has to do with money and business, you are going to become your own boss. You're going to take control of the situation. You have a lot of wisdom, efficiency, stability. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Okay, but this I feel that this is you in your power. Okay, maybe you have an Aries energy very strong here too. I feel this has to do with business for some of you. Please let me know in the comments. What is this emperor here? Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition, Scorpios. Okay? You are a high priest or a high priestess. We know this already. A lot of Scorpios become psychics, mediums, um, teachers, Reiki teachers, healers, fairy, fairologists. 
You have the knowledge. You've been here many, many times. That's how we know each other. That's why you're connected to me and I'm connected to you. Okay? And trust your intuition. That's when they're asking you here. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? The niggling feeling is your intuition. Okay? Trust your intuition. Why is the Six of Cups reversed? There we go. <laughs> in the near future, you're going to have a new beginning in finances. There's a new beginning that's taking that's taking uh, in finances for you, Scorpio. You are climbing up the ladder to success. That's what it is. You're climbing up the ladder to success. There's going to be a new beginning in finances for you. Okay. Why is the Daughter of Swords reversed? <laughs> so you're being pulled in two different directions. Or you're multitasking. August, uh, July 21st to August 21st is also a very important month for you. The month of August, I feel. Because a decision will have to be made. Maybe you made that decision already. No, you didn't make it yet. For over here, it shows me that you didn't make it yet. But there's a decision that will have to be made. You've got 22 here. There's a decision that has to be made for you. If you make the decision, what's going to happen if they make this, this decision? What's going to happen if they make this decision? Now, some of you don't want to move away from a particular place, a house, or a business. Right now, it's showing me is that for some of you that want to relocate, maybe some of you have to make a decision. Maybe you have to relocate or move. For others of you, you do not want to move from a, a particular situation. And there's an energy of someone around you not being honest to you, okay? But even though it's past tense, there's energy is still here as well. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here? This has to do with a relationship that did not work out, a commitment that did not come through. Okay, maybe a divorce here too for some of you. Something that did not take place. That, or it could have taken place. Some of you got married, got divorced with this person, but this person is still trying to control you, maybe because you have children together. Because I see uh, two children here as well. I see a girl and a boy. Your kids are uh, your... Um, your. I feel it's your daughter more. That if this has to do with a girl, if or, you know, there's one of them in the air sign. If they have air energy in their chart, they are not speaking. They're, they're, they're withholding stuff, okay? Like, because they're, they don't know how how to express themselves. Maybe there's a lot of fighting and who knows. The little boy is fine. The boy is fine, okay? Or this is like a commitment. Maybe this could be also a, of work, like, you know, something that did not get together. Yeah, someone someone here, I, I'm getting a very strong air energy. I'm getting um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini here, very strong. Someone not speaking the truth, someone not being clear, being confused. There's a lot of confusion with the, around the situation, okay? And someone not being stable. This is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. Well, you are climbing up the tower to success, and it is coming for you in the near, uh, very soon. And at least that's coming in for you. Yeah. You're hoping for, to you're hoping whatever it is that the situation if this the situation does not uh take place this week it's 
if it doesn't take place this week, it will take place because this is, some people will uh, f go through the star moment where everything is going to be clear. Ending of delays, new beginnings are going to start. And some of you are hoping to have new beginnings and happiness here, okay? You want that because you're, you're fed up of feeling in the way that you are. Okay, Scorpios, there's something here that's really off balance. Maybe you're not feeling good. Why is the eight? I see 888 on the floor. Infinity. And I'm also the infinity. What does the 8 have to do with? I've been, I see that you've been working in details and maybe multitasking or working two jobs. You've been really... But they're asking you not to give not to give up. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. If that's not the case, okay, your strength, you're going to start feeling better. You are going to start feeling better maybe from July 21st and so forth. Okay? There's something that you had to um, tame inside of yourself with all this healing that's been taking place and uh, whatever you're going through, this transformation that's going to be taking place. You have courage. Just have self-confidence in yourself. They're asking you to have self-confidence. The infinity symbol is very strong here. What's the end result? Some of you will need to rest. I feel like there's a resting point that you need. You need to rest, maybe go on vacation, or just like take some time off to heal, to meditate. Okay, it's very important here. I see someone near us also. Um, there's a healing that's going to be taking place for you. A healing and a blessing that's coming in. Some of you are dealing with someone that is, I see a very strong fire energy or air energy. And also cup like you. Could be someone like a Scorpio like you. Uh, Cap, uh, Cancer or Pisces. Okay, so let me know in the comments. And underneath the card, you did get, you're returning to unconditional love. Unconditional love. Whoever this person is that's coming in, if this is a new person, or if this is, uh, if it's not a person, but whatever that's happening, you're returning with this transformation that you're going through. You're going to be, um, the divine is coming in to bring you unconditional love. I just saw three, two, two, two. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And you're going to have justice. Favors being made in your favor. Rulings being made in your favor. Things being in balance. Very clear communication. So you're dealing with a Libra here. Okay? So here I go. Now we're going to take the other cards. And see what else is going on for you. Because I am reading for a collective. I'm waiting for my new cards to come in. They're taking so much time. Uh, but it's okay. I got the mini ones for now, you know. What are the messages for my beautiful scorpions? The ones that always get misunderstood. You know who else gets misunderstood also? Capricorns. Capricorns get misunderstood as well. A lot too. In the same, almost in the same ways that you do. Scorpio. Maybe some of you have a, your Scorpio and your rising or your moon or your... To your Pluto or your Neptune or your Saturn is in, is in Capricorn here. Because I do see someone trying to puppet you around. You have to cut those strings. I see the sun shining here. Two people coming together. Very beautiful. So you're dealing with a Leo. I do believe after July 21st, you're going to start feeling better. Okay, uh, this is, uh, everything is beautiful when the sun shines, right? Oops, see that card now we popped out? You are working in details. They're asking you not to give up. Okay, they're asking you not to give up. If this has to do with a partnership, that uh, do not give up. If this has to do with uh, health, do not give up. If this has to do with work, do not give up. You still have an energy of people fighting around you. A lot of drama here, but it's in the recent past. Where are the messages for Scorpio? July 16th to the 24th. Okay. 
In the past, I see that uh, probably you were dealing with someone that was very cold. I see here um, they were very cold. They spoke very bluntly to you. They were, they're not that compassionate because they say what they feel and that's it. Or this is your energy that you're trying to cut off somebody. But somebody cut off somebody here and used, like, there's a lot of words I feel. I feel some of you are giving up. But there's this energy of still fighting. Again, you got the judgment card. Twice it came up in your reading. This is what's happening to you now at this moment here. What these cards are telling me here is that something, something or someone is coming in faded towards you. This could be money, love. We're going to go deeper into the reading and see what else is going on. But first... I'm doing a Celtic cross right now. Okay, I knew it. Scorpio, you're not trusting your intuition. Some of you are not trusting your intuition. Something is off balance here. You're not listening to yourself. So I'm going to put the card upright that you that you trust that niggling feeling. Okay? Because it's uh, I feel that uh, from the eclipse that we had in Cancer... With um, Mercury going retrograde, Chiron going retrograde, C-H-I-R-O-N. And with all the other planets that are retrograde right now, you're feeling really off. You're not in your element for some of you. So that's why I put the card upright. To change the energy. I want you to trust yourself. You're going to be moving forward from the situation. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign very strong here. I see uh, uh, Sagittarius Leo or Aries. Someone very dramatic, driven. They're not young, they're older, so they're more like stable in some ways. But they also like adventurous and they, they're very, uh, they want you to um, do what is right for you is what they're telling me. If this has to do with you, you're... You got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you got the Ten of Pentacles here. This is what you're hoping and wanting. New beginning and finances. And you are going to get there. But you have to trust your intuition. Judgment is coming for you. So that's a good thing. If this is has to do with a business where you're teaching others, you're there teaching others or you're a teacher. Uh, I see stability here, growth here, and going up those stairs. Remember the stairs to success. That's what's happening for you. You're climbing the stairs to success. This is something stable. If this has to do with money. Or if this has to do with... Um, um, a relationship. I see a stable relationship here. Now, now, let's go deeper and see what's going on here. Why is the sun card here? Some of you are feeling stuck. Again, they're showing me this. That you're feeling stuck. Here you go, Scorpio. You came into your own reading. You're resisting something here. You're feeling stuck. Or maybe you're co-creating this. You know, when you're feeling stuck, when you think negative, when you always think negative, 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 you're, start, you're going to start creating that, you know. For some of you, you're resisting something. For others of you, you're off balance here. And this has to do something from the past, you're feeling tied to this person again. You're still feeling tied. But I do believe that in the month of July 21st and so forth, there's something that's going to change for you because you have judgment that's here. Okay? Some of you will walk away finally from a situation. Walk away finally from a past that really hurt you. Like, And some of you are still like, need... The energy is still there and you still need healing. Uh, there's completion that's taking place for you. A completion. You're going to be walking away. Yeah, you have the eight cups here. They fulfilled you to, to a certain point. But some of you are wanting the ninth cup. And you're going to start traveling. And going forward to that. And there's a completion. There's an ending of a situation that's taking place. Learned lesson. And new beginnings are going to take place. There's also a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. It doesn't have to be. But there's an offering that's coming in. This could be financial offering for you a promotion or someone that's watching over you okay for others of you someone that's watching over you is also helping you why is the eight of they're very slow moving but when they come in they stay oops there's too many cards okay too many cards 
Okay. Why is the eight? Oh, God. <laughs> so I asked why the eight of pentacles was there. And they didn't give me enough chance. From the eight, you went to the nine. You're very self-sufficient. You take care of yourself. You're very independent. You're very, you're, but you're feeling stuck. Some of you are not sleeping at night. I think some of you are staying awake at night. And you're, because all the planets are retrograde right now, Scorpio, the movement is not to go forward. We need to revisit the past. There's like, we're, you're going through everything. Like you're going through everything, every single thing, because there's something that you're not getting. And a lot of you can't sleep at night. You're being awakened. You have too many thoughts. You're stuck. You're feeling stuck. Okay. You have to let go of these things. You need to let go of these things. Why is judgment here? What is the judgment card about? Because it's good that you're getting a completion. <laughs> Look what's... <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Yep. Very, very good. I'm so proud of you. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Judgment is coming in to give you a Wheel of Fortune. Be like being on your side. Second chance is coming for you. For others of you. Money, luck on your side is coming for you. For some of you, this will start... You're going to start feeling it for some of you. Some of you now, of course, because I get always emails telling me that usually a lot of people that follow me tell me that what I predict comes true for them. Okay, and others of you say, well, I haven't received it. Okay, but everybody's on a different soul path. And it, when, it, when it's time, it will come for you. I'm, I'm feeling for some of you this will start uh, after August 21st, between July 21st and so forth. And even until September, some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you're going to have a second chance. They want you to follow your path. They want you to trust yourself is what I'm picking up very strong here. Why is the High Priestess here? A lot of you are feeling the energies of the moon. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces here. There's a delay in messages that are supposed to be coming in. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. There is an eclipse uh Lunar eclipse, I guess, in Capricorn, right? But the messages are delayed. You're having a lot of fears, getting panic attacks. You're not feeling good. You're feeling all over the place, I feel here. Okay. What is this all about? Why is the moon card here with the eight of wands? There's some kind of messages that are delayed. Or maybe you are delaying a message to someone. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, because it's not in divine timing. That's why you need to trust your intuition. Because right now you're going through a passage. I see 11 very strong here. But you're going through a passage, 11, 22. I also saw a lot, a lot of Infinity Eights are very strong. So August, I also see something strong in August of 2019. That's why things are not, because the divine timing is just in delay. As soon as this delay will go over, the divine timing comes in, messages come through, and everything as well. But now, there's a delay. Why is the king of rods here? Why is the king of rods here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. A lover, a twin, because, you know, we, I am reading for a collective. Half of you on the collective believe in twins. Other half of you don't believe in twins. It doesn't matter what what matters is what you believe in, okay? Uh, for some of you, this is a this has been a long journey. There's a decision that will be made, okay? And uh, if not, this is a lover that's here. And if it's not a lover, you say, well, I don't date any. Well, there's an important decision about the situation that you're doing. Some of you are going to have a heart. This card fell. At the same place where when my other cards, the same, same place, <laughs> the six of uh, swords reversed. Some of you are having a hard time moving away from someone. Yeah, but also, there is some kind of stability when it comes to your finances, I feel. Uh, but a lot of you are having a hard time opening that heart chakra. But this month of the cancer season, you are going to be uh, taking control of the situation and moving forward, Okay. You're going to be moving forward. 
Some of you are buying a new car as well. Maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer. Why is the hind man reversed here? Oops, too many cards. Why is the hangman reversed? Okay. Okay. There we go. We have a lot of cards here. There's an energy around you of someone not being truthful. Again, this card came out, the Seven of Swords. I don't like this kind of energy of a card. This is someone that's not being, this is someone around you, people around you that are not being fair. Uh, they're trying to get away with something. Uh, there's a secret here. There's something. There's something that's not coming together. This could be for business or love. It doesn't matter. But there's something, two people not coming in together in the way that they should. Okay. Um, there's someone that's unstable here. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, it doesn't have to be, but there's someone that's unstable, and some of you are going to be blocking someone out completely. Some of you are also saying here, Well, look, I've been through a lot now, you know, uh, these are all my life experiences, I'm still standing, I'm still going. Uh, but some of you, I feel it's more of a blocking. But what's coming forth when this wheel of fortune takes place for you? There is an offering that's coming from the divine. This is a gift that's coming in, money, a promotion. But there's something coming in to help you financially. I do see it strongly. If whatever this has to do with love, for some of you, there's second chances taking place with a twin flame because you've been through a twin flame journey in the past 16 years. For some of you, it's been that long. Um, why is it... The Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. You got the Ten of Pentacles. Followed by the Ten of Cups. Ten, ten. Being on the right path. This is what you're wanting. You want a new beginning with this person. In the home where you could bring your finances together. There's a lot of love celebration taking place. A rainbow there. Rainbow. That is beautiful. And why is the three of, I see stability here. Why is the three of pentacles here? Oops. There is an offering that's coming in. For some of you, there's an apology as well. For others of you, this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a promotion, an opportunity. That's coming in for you to make extra money and to be stable. Okay, maybe for your teaching, for your, uh, I don't know, some of you are opening up websites uh, or your YouTube channel. There's a, there's a chance here to make money. And you've been very patient. Scorpios, you've been patient. Okay? Uh, there's a sense of patience here for you. You've been working on yourself. You've been uh, working on your, like, I really, like, been working on yourself, like, self-love here. So you're dealing with a, um, with a Sagittarius, but it could also mean that Jupiter in Sagittarius is bringing this opportunity for you, because when Jupiter leaves Sagittarius, it always brings the gifts down, it brings the gifts, okay? And this is your time. All right, at this moment now, you are reevaluating everything, you're reevaluating everything, maybe your budget. You're just reevaluating because this is what we are all doing on the collective right now. Everybody's reevaluating everything. Okay? And you come you come you come along pretty well when it comes to your finances. And they're asking you not to give up. Okay? Not to give up. Get out of your head. Try to have faith in the universe, in the angels. Talk to your angels. Talk to your angels and stop worrying, okay? And trust that feeling. Why is the Queen of Swords here? I want to ask why the Queen of Swords is here. Who is this Queen of Swords energy? This is someone that... Or this is you. Sorry about that. My cards are flying. Yeah, I got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. One reversed, not reversed. That for me tells me that it was like back and forth. 
not being clear, being clear, not being, there was, uh, not speaking, uh, being confused, not confused. I don't know if this is you or someone that you were dealing with, someone that you had long-term expectations with this person, uh, but there was something brokenhearted and the divine did come in to bring you, there's something that did not work out because again, the three of swords keeps following you around, okay? Someone from the past, maybe for some of you, there was a third party situation, uh, it doesn't have to be, maybe even in a business, but the divine came in to bring you the truth, clarity, a lot of ideas taking place. You've been working in details. Do not give up, okay? So now, let's go into the Oracle cards. I hope you enjoyed the reading, my beautiful Scorpions. Please let me know in the comments uh, if the reading resonates with you. Again, our sessions will be every Monday. But again, like I said, Mercury went retrograde, and it's uh, really uh, toying around with my uh, electronics, my emails, everything, my even my videos. They keep uh, disappearing. So hopefully this one will stay and get <laughs> uploaded. So for those of you that chose um, Romance Angels with the Rose Quartz, they said, let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Give your relationship a chance for others of you. Work on your partnership. And for some of you, got reconciliation. Now, remember, that's not for everybody. You'll know if it's for you because you're going to feel in your heart chakra. And it says someone from your past is returning in your life. Just make sure you make the right decision. Listen to your intuition. Okay, and good luck. For those of you that chose Archangel Michael, deck number two with uh, the white satellite, they're saying believe and trust. And your prayer is, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. And so it is. It says, also, keep your eyes on the targeted intention. And your prayer is, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for my I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. And so it is. And they're saying you and your loved ones are safe. This is a beautiful card, isn't it? And your prayer is, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And name the specific individuals. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a ha healthful, happy life. And so it is. For those of you, and good luck for those of you that um, chose that. For those of you that chose Ask Angels, Orange Saddle Knight. Oh, you got five cards. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Okay, one you got here is Let Go. Let Go. Second card is... Choose a new direction. Choose a new direction. The third card you got is look for a sign. Look for a sign. You got perfect timing. Perfect timing. And abundance. And so it is. So good luck for those of you that chose deck number three. Thank you again for all your love and support, my beautiful Scorpions. Know that I love you very much. I have your back. And I'll see you next Monday. Yes, next Monday. Don't forget. Everything is underneath my video of the schedule. This is a weekly new schedule. And I'll see you next week. Okay, so take care. Know that I love you. Bye.